hi guys welcome back again to the channel today i'll show you how to replace your old laptop or pc hard drive with an ssd without losing any data this is really going to boost system performance and speed and i do encourage users with old computer to upgrade with an ssd so to begin this are what you might need for the process a star screwdriver to disassemble the laptop drive cover an ssd a SATA adapter cable or an external drive SATA casing. You will find a link down in the description below in case you want to purchase any. This is the SSD we will migrate our operating system and its files on. We can use the USB SATA cable to connect it to our laptop or PC. Or use this SATA drive casing. We will use this for the demonstration. But please note, each of them gives the exact same results. From there, connect your drive to your laptop or PC. After come to this website and download Mini Partition Wizard 10, I will leave the download link in the description below. After quickly install the software as demonstrated in the video. After come to your drives, this C drive is your system drive that contains the Windows operating system. And the other drive in this case is the connected or targeted drive that we will migrate the operating system and its data onto. After our next step is to start the migration process, so I'll run the mini partition wizard from the desktop. And click yes. Then choose mini 2 partition wizard 3. Now, you can see the two drives are present here, the DIX1 and DIX2. Now, we are going to start the migration process. After, click on Migrate OS to SSD or Hard Drive. Now, here there are two options. The first option will migrate your operating system as well as your drive partitions from your old drive to your new drive, whilst the second option will only migrate the partition with your operating system to your new drive. Please note that both option A and B will still keep the original information available on the system disk after migration is completed. This means that you can still access all your information from the old drive at any time you connect it to any computer. Now here, I will choose option A. So I will click next. Here we are migrating from disk 1 to disk 2, so I will select disk 2 and click next. Now, you'll be told all information on the new or connected drive will be destroyed. So, if you have any data on the new drive, then copy your data first and come back and proceed. If not, then click yes. Now, here there are two copy options. One, fit partition to an entire disk and two, copy partition without resize. Here, I will suggest you choose the first one and click next. Here also, it says that to boot from the new disk, please configure computer BIOS settings. Make sure the new disk is configured as the default boot disk. This means that after the migration process is completed and you have applied all the changes and Windows is unable to boot from the new drive, then you need to go into your computer BIOS settings and set the new disk as the default boot disk. So for an example, from this BIOS settings, you can see that the hard disk or SSD is the second on the list after the USB. You just have to ensure that at the boot order or boot sequence or boot priority, you set your hard drive or SSD as the first or second boot device on the list. This is the easiest way to solve boot problems. After click finish, then after everything we click on apply to effect the changes. 
and when you get this prompt then please kindly close any other running applications and click on yes after wait patiently for the process to complete in case you get this message and it requires you to restart your pc then click on restart this will take some time depending on the size of your data and the speed of your pc also if you have a usb 3.0 port then i'll suggest you use it this will fasten the process compared to a usb 2.0 Now, the Windows migrating process is completed, so I need to replace the new SSD of 480GB with a mechanical hard drive. So here, I open the hard drive compartment bay. This actually depends on your computer model. From there, I will just replace the hard drive with the SSD we successfully transferred our operating system and data onto. After I close the compartment bay and tighten all available screws. Now let me turn the laptop on and wait for it to get to Windows. As you can see all the informations are present. Now let me check my license. As you can see Windows is also activated. So that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. If you got some value from this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing tutorials. Thanks for watching, have a good night and I'll see you in the next one.